Hi there, my name is Damien and in today's quick demonstration I'm going to show you how you can check if a file exists in SharePoint during your Power Automate flow. So if you haven't already, please make sure you like and subscribe and without further ado, let's jump into my demonstration. So here we have a SharePoint document library and as you can see from the breadcrumb above here, we have a path which is in the default document library and the folder path is based on the first three letters of the month. So it's currently August and we're in the org folder. So that's the first part of the challenge is that our folder path is going to be dynamic. Then within that folder path, I'm going to have a dynamic file name. So at the moment, I've called my file accounting, accounting recon 123 for the purpose of the automation it needs to check if the file name has, again, the abbreviation org in it. But for right now, I'm going to leave 123. So once we try out this uh, process, it should fail, or at least branch out no and terminate. So here's my cloud flow. It's currently based on a manual trigger, but of course you could have this on a, a schedule. And uh, the first thing I do is I have a compose action, which returns to me the month based on the first three letters. So you can see here I have the expression in my comments which is based on format, format date time, UTC now, and then the month, MMM. Then using the get files action, I retrieve all the files in a particular folder. And so the folder path is based on the default document library here, shared documents, forward slash, and then the output from the compose action above which will of course return the month in the three, first three letters. Then using the advanced options, you can see here I have a filter query. So that filter query is based on the file leaf reference equaling accounting recon, and then again, the output from the format date time, which in this case will be org.xlsx, which is the file extension of the Excel file. So now the get files action property will not only return the files from this particular dynamic folder path here, but it will check to see if there are any that contain this particular file name. Then using a condition, I'm simply checking that the length of the values returned by the get files action. So the get files action will return an array of files traditionally. First of all, we're limiting it to, to a single file we're checking to see if that length equals one. If that length does equal one, we'll branch down the yes route, which confirms that we do in fact have a file in that folder path with that particular file name. If the length is not equal to one, of course it branches right. And in this case, I have a terminate action. So if I go ahead and test, and what we'd expect to happen here is because at the moment the file name contains one, two, three at the end of it, we'd expect the cloud flow to go down the right branch and terminate. So if we look at the condition, it appears to have canceled because there is no, no output from the get files. It goes down the, the no branch and we can see here it's terminated. Now, if I go into my document library, if I rename this file, so now it ends with org, go back into my cloud flow, Hit the edit and test. And if we go back into that condition, you can see now that the expression has resulted in true and it's branched left. And so this is how you would check to see if a file exists in your SharePoint document library. Not only that, using some dynamic content from a compose action in both the folder, but also the file path that you can see there, org. So I hope you enjoyed that demonstration. If you haven't already, please make sure that you've subscribed to my channel and uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks very much for watching.